I had a great childhood. We got to travel around the world and see things that 99% of kids haven't seen before and travel country to country and met some amazing people. Um, got to do the most enjoyable things and live a really fun, exciting, adventurous life. The cool thing about moving different countries is you really have to meet, you're, you're all in the same boat. No friends, you've got no family. We got to see the coolest things ever, having a mother that always wants to go outside, explore new things, go camping, go diving, um, go fi like fishing or surfing or anything like that. She was as good as any mother in the world could be, I would say. She's just fun and you know, she's very talkative. She's very, I mean, She's almost therapeutic in a way because if you had a problem with anyone, she'd, you know, they'd come and talk to her because she'd give great advice and she'd listen and she's just very you know, selfless in, in the sense of um, making other people happy. I realised my mother's name wasn't her name because um, I always looked up on Google trying to find her or trying to find things about her and I was always suspicious and then I'd find absolutely nothing about her. So I knew that there was a different name. I assumed that she did something wrong. Um, I'm not. I was never sure what it was, but I knew it wouldn't have been like bad, as in she would have hurt someone or anything like that. I knew that would never happen. But I really had no idea that it involved my sister or anything like that. There was this one day I remember. I think my brother asked her why he didn't know our grandmother, and you can just tell. I mean, when she talked about America, she loved it. But there was something there that, you know, and it's not. It's not for me to sit there and go, well, get sadder and tell me more and, and tell me why and I deserve to know because I didn't, you know. I trusted that when she wanted to tell me, she'd let me know. And, you know, if it was 10 years, I don't, I don't care. I mean, at the end of the day, it is her life that she had to leave and she left it for a reason. I learned that the FBI was after my mother. It was a pretty big shock to learn that. If she had told me any earlier than when I'd found out, I wouldn't have been able to handle it, you know, because then I would go to research and then I would probably get, I'd be the one to get her arrested by researching so much or tipping off. I don't, you know, I, it's just, it's, it, it was dangerous and she was doing the right thing. I was pretty impressed by it all. It's kind of like what you see in the movies. I've seen a movie really similar to how the whole setup was done with her escaping and all that. And it was, yeah, I like to hear the story a lot.